Hello ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, Randall M. Roof here, Christian, member of the East Columbus Christian Church in Columbus, Indiana, and I'm going to give you a brief overview of the sermon we had yesterday. Um, first of all, the, the date for yesterday was Sunday, August the 4th, 2019 AD. If you're interested in our church, you can uh, visit the eastccc.net website, or give them a call. Um, I'm sure be somebody that would be glad to talk to you if you're interested. But the, the sermon yesterday is um, number one in a new series called The Psalms or the iTunes of Israel. And we talked about how God speaks to you through songs. Okay, so on the back, again, this is just a brief overview. Um, obviously, there was a lot more than what I'm going to go over here. But um, first thing, um, we, what you should do is read Psalms 19. Psalm 19, for the director of music, a psalm of David. The heavens declare the glory of God. The skies proclaim the work of his hands. Day after day they pour forth speech. Night after night they display knowledge. There is no speech or language where their voice is not heard. Their voice goes out into all the earth. Their words to the ends of the world. In the heavens he has pitched a tent for the sun, which is like a bridegroom coming forth from his pavilion, like a champion rejoicing to run his course. It rises at one end of the heavens and makes its circuit to the other. Nothing is hidden from its heat. The law of the Lord is perfect, reviving the soul. The statutes of the Lord are trustworthy, making wise the simple. The precepts of the Lord are right, giving joy to the heart. The commands of the Lord are radiant, giving light to the eyes. The fear of the Lord is pure, enduring forever. The ordinances of the Lord are sure and altogether righteous. They are more precious than gold, than much pure gold. They are sweeter than honey, than honey from the comb. By them is your servant warned. In keeping them there is great reward. Who can discern his errors? Forgive my hidden faults. Keep your servant also from willful sins. May they not rule over me. Then will I be blameless innocent of great transgression. May the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be pleasing in your sight. O Lord, my rock and my redeemer. And uh, review that real good. But the highlights of the sermon were that is, God is always speaking. Uh, number one, God speaks to me through nature. In other words, the creation is proof of the creator. And through the nature we can see... Um, the things that God has done and um, proof of his existence uh, and his power and wonder. Um, God speaks to me through scripture, so if, if you're uh, in the Bible reading, um, that's a good thing. That's one way that God uh, gives us, tells us what we need to, uh, how we should live and what we should do. Uh, the scripture points to the creator, okay, obviously. Um, and then we got some key points on the benefits of reading the scripture and reading the Bible or the Bible is. And basically, some of the things we talked about was the fact that scripture makes me smarter. I, I can learn more. So next, it encourages me. Uh, you can get encouragement um, from reading the Bible. Of course, uh, scripture enlightens me. It gives me information and things that I need to know and makes me a better person if I do what it says course teaches me about God what does God want for my life how does he want me to live what does he want me to do and not do it's, it's all in there uh, again uh, to continue on that point teaches me how to live the the, the way you should live uh, again the things you should do and not do and how to do it and the attitude and outlook on when you're doing it so uh, the scripture is uh, my greatest possession, uh, physically, having a Bible and having uh, the Word of God. Uh, I mean, there, you know, that's very important. Um, so, next, um, the scripture makes me better. If you, if you do, if you're into it and you're learning how to be a better person, it's going to make you a better person. And if you accept Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, I have. And 
every other Christian has. If you do, not only is it going to make your life uh, better and make you a better person, uh, that doesn't mean it's always going to be easy or there aren't going to be troubles, but in the in the big picture, it's going to make you better. And again, if you accept Jesus as your Lord and Savior, it's going to make you better forever because someday you're going to get to go uh, spend eternity with uh, in heaven with uh, God and Jesus and all the other uh, Christians and the angels and it'll be awesome so that's good <laughs> so um, that's just again that's just a brief overview uh, again I encourage you to read Psalm 19 and uh, again if you're interested in the church you can go to the uh, the website again it's eastccc.net if you're interested if you're in the Columbus Indiana area uh, by all means give them a call uh, or if you just want to give them a call and you're not in the Columbus Indiana area but uh, again, this is the, the Psalms or the iTunes of Israel. And we talk, again, we're talking about how God speaks to you through songs. So until next time, I'm Randall M. Roof, uh, Christian, member of the East Columbus Christian Church in Columbus, Indiana, here in the home office in Tozel, Indiana, saying thanks for watching. Have a good day. God bless you. Bye.